just one step for mankind and what a great step for a fucking human being little step for fuck I didn't have my espresso yet so I fuck it up I wanna say just one little step for a human person like me and what a big step for mankind because the the mankind would get rid of the motherfucker like me you know but I think I will be here some more time you know in this motherfucking world whoa one step for huh Okay? See, see, not the problem. This is for my amigos. Hola. <laughs> this fucking hotel will go into the history of the fucking mankind because I fucked around 15 bitches here. Uh, I, excuse me, I wanted to say I have a sexual intercourse here with 15 carinos. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Santo Domingo. Yeah, yeah. This is the terrace where I had a breakfast every morning. Don't be mistaken, this town is very dangerous town. This is very dangerous town with very mean people, invisible the people with two faces. Two faced people. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. I almost fucking die here, you know. Six motherfuckers abducted me to the woods for 15 hours I hit two of them I think one of them I killed him because I pushed my finger like 5 centimeters in his fucking brain I bet my balls in fireplace his brain doesn't work like before you know the other one I hit him a little bit with the machete he tried to hit me I think he survived the other one maybe they survived both but they got a memory you know they got a souvenir just like I got yeah, they a little bit like uh, there was a little piece of teeth which is like you know, I don't know how to say it in English like and and my eye is getting better yeah it's, it's not painful and then I got some wounds in my head but you know I'm an Eastern European we got a hard-headed motherfucking heads you know. <laughs> I told them, you know, hey, I, you know, so a gringo, gringo, who give us dinero? I said, no, I said, Titian has problem. I said, no, no, Titian has problem. Titian, you have a problem, you have a problem. Yeah. Then I wait, and when I was abducted, four of them went back machines to get the money, and two of them were hiding me in this fucking shelter, and I, I just attacked the motherfucker. like four centimeters in his eyeball you know and uh, one woman she asked me from Canada I tell her my friend I she told me Christina asked me I told her what happened here and she says do you have some trauma Daniel do you have some trauma you know do you have some uh, uh, post-traumatic stress because you you were kidnapped and abducted for several hours and then you fight with this guy and you probably maybe seriously injured him do you have some conscious or do you have some problems like you know some conscious consciousness or do you have some 
you know, remorses or, and the other guy who heard him. And I said, yes, Tina, when I'm going f fall asleep, I have this trauma, you know. I, I can see like I'm in this shelter, I have tied up hands and they, they talking about calling my government and getting the rescata, rescata is uh, ransom in Spanish, in English, in Spanish. And then I told her, when I falling asleep, I wanna, I wanna remove the, the trauma, I wanna heal the trauma. So it's recommended by psychologists. It's recommended by psychologists to think about something pleasant. For example, some kind of melody of music, which makes you feel good and which makes you feel pleasant, you know, and which puts you in a better place. So I always listening this sound, this melody of this guy, while I push the finger in his eye, and it was something like. Oh. And then I play the music around and around and around and the trauma goes away, you see. That's how I deal with the psychological trauma. Carlo, he even shake my hands before, my hands were tied. He says, you soy tu amigo, yo prometeo tu, tu eres libre cuando tu gobernia pagas ellos. He says, like, I'm your friend, I... I I, 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 you know, I promise you that your government, while they pay us, you will be free. You know, he admired me, he was like a 25 years old, and, you know, I, I got to psychologically talk to him, he introduces some kind of you know. He will be my friend, they didn't get that point, but he will be my friend, you know. And then I pretend I have a heart attack. Carlo, por favor. And I have this cuchula, I have this hat, hood on my head, and they remove, he removed it, I knew that he will put the pistol and match it, because he needs both hands clear, to give me the water, and he removed the kuchula, the, the hood, and the, with the second hand he was giving me water, and then I attack Carlo, but I have tied up hands, so I couldn't make it with this, in his eye, I make it with this one. I, I think I like to think like it was purpose, it purposeful. It was not a purposeful, but I kill Carlo with my middle finger. You see? Because I'm an Eastern European. Because you don't fuck with people like me. You see? <laughs> hey, so I'm living like a like a victor, like a victor from the Latin. I am living like a winner from Santo Domingo. They take my watch and a couple of rings, who give a fuck, the most important is my life. But I get my wallet and my phone back, because while, when Carlo fall down, he was like, he was really pain. Then I finish Carlo like that, and I finish him, really, I finish him, fuck him up. You see, that was adrenaline. <laughs> I step on his fuck face, you know, and then the other guy, was, he was like in the door getting, you know, so I, I hit him with my head because I did like that, and I ran against him, then he, I took this fucking machete, he fall down, you know, I, I finish him like that, I took the machete on the floor, and I hit him like that twice, you know, por favor, and then I kick him, you know, then I, the wallet was on the floor, if there was a candle and my phone, I take it, I grab it in my feet, in my pocket, and I run away from the shelter where the six motherfuckers adopted me from nearby, from here. I think it was, it was over there, that street, fake taxi with six people abducted me. They were three, four, sorry, and then later on two joined them. But around two or three days I'm living the fuck in Santo Domingo. And of course I didn't tell police I killed two motherfuckers, right? Or I heard them. But I think they would not give a shit. You see? This is it. Uh, I survived Beirut. I survived Tokyo. Situation when I was four days in the fucking terminal tortured by lack of food and medicine. Hey, survive fucking Colombo, where they wanna put 1k of fucking heroin secret police in my fucking luggage and they were holding me there.
I say Ralph Santo Domingo, I'm a motherfucker. I'm unkillable motherfucker. Yeah. That's who I am. It's good to be a motherfucker in life. Because he's hunt or hunted. Pray or pray or catch or catcher. I know I'm repeating a lot, but you gotta fucking understand. This looks like some fucking great James Bond scene. Check it out. Oh my god, imagine. This is like from fucking James Bond, right? Like parkour, like jump over. Motherfuckers. Not today. Not today, ladies and gentlemen. But who knows? That is close and young. That is close and young and hungry as much as more as than we thought. Santo Domingo. I survived. Fucking great experience, fucking great day and 20 fucking bitches which I fucked. I fuck you here. I chill out. Poseděl jsem si tu trošku v Santo Domingo. Příjemně. Musím říct příjemně, bratře. <laughs>